Disclaimer! A copy of this game is provided for the purpose of this review. Classic video games of the 1980s are definitely still in high demand. Many gamers resort to collecting old physical copies of games, while others resort to digital re-releases on current generation hardware. While retro titles are returning in their original form, many are also receiving enhanced sequels. Last year's Burger Time Party marked the seven-year return of arcade hit, Burger Time. Burger Time Party took the original's gameplay and revamped it for modern audiences, including multiplayer modes. Developer Tato followed suit, releasing Bubble Bobble for Friends in Europe late last year. A whopping 11 years after its predecessor, Bubble Bobble's newest entry finally hit the States. For those unaware, Bubble Bobble is an action platformer, first releasing in arcades in 1986. Players control either a green dragon named Bub or a blue one named Bob. Bub and Bob must tackle 100 stages by encasing enemies into bubbles and popping them. Gaining massive success, Bubble Bobble was promptly ported over to home consoles. In the franchise's 34-year run, there have been over 20 different sequels and spin-offs. The latest mainline Bubble Bobble entry was 2009's Bubble Bobble Neo for Microsoft's Xbox 360. Thankfully, Bubble Bobble's 10-year hiatus came to an end with Bubble Bobble for Friends. Bubble Bobble for Friends is played from the perspective of a toy version of Bub. As such, the art style is very much toyish. Platforms you walk on range from cardboard boxes to toy bricks. The background is of a deeply moonlit bedroom, and I think it looks really good. The 3D visuals really pop with this art style, and it feels very fitting for the franchise. The miniature world contained in a bedroom is slightly reminiscent of Yoshi's Crafted World. That game's aesthetics gave off a handcrafted feel, whereas Bubble Bobble for Friends differs. Its world is surrounded with objects you would typically find in a child's bedroom. The graphics look really good, both docked and in handheld mode. As with most Bubble Bobble entries, it doesn't really have much as far as a narrative. The game opens up to toy versions of Bub and Bonner, the wicked magician more commonly known as Drunk, laying on a child's bed. When an inexplicable light engulfs the child's bedroom, inanimate objects begin to come to life. Upon awakening, jealousy permeates Bonner. Bub, being the child's favorite toy, is then beaten by the enraged magician. He then proceeds to throw Bub off the bed, challenging him for dominance. It's up to Bub, Bob, and their girlfriends, Pab and Pab, to put Bonner in his place. There really isn't much else on the story front, but it honestly really doesn't matter. The logistics of Bonner's plan isn't necessary to enjoy the arcadey goodness Bubble Bobble for Friends has to offer. The heart of Bubble Bobble for Friends lies within its main mode and its five worlds. Each world contains nine stages and one boss stage. Stages transition very similarly to previous entries in the Bubble Bobble series. Once all of the main mode's levels are completed, a harder mode is then unlocked. This hard mode remixes the main mode's stages and substantially ups the difficulty. This stretches Bubble Bobble for Friends level count from 50 to 100. While completing these two modes can be done in a short amount of time, the game retains replayability in its score system. Maybe I'm just bad at Bubble Bobble, but I found it incredibly fucking difficult to get a 3-star rating. Thankfully, the mechanics don't deviate too far from past games. Players control their mini dragons using either the analog stick or the directionals. Jumping is mapped to X and B, while blowing bubbles uses Y and A. I died multiple times. Multiple times. Multiple times. Multiple times. Bubble Bobble for Friends offers a new feature exclusive to the title, Skills. Skills grant special abilities that change up how the game can be played. The first skill unlocked is Long Shot, which increases the distance bubbles can be shot. Another, obtained later on, is Bomb Bubble, which causes bubbles to explode after some time. In order to unlock skills, players must complete the world. If they manage to collect letter bubbles spread around the levels, forming the word Extend, the skill is upgraded. These upgrades essentially make the ability more powerful or allow it more use. In addition to unlockable abilities, Bubble Bubble for Friends allows for up to four-player cooperative play. Two-player co-op is nothing new, as even the original Bubble Bobble offered it, but adding two more characters to the fray makes for a way more frantic time. The three additional players take control of Bob, Peb, and Pal, respectively. Unfortunately, I haven't had much hands-on time with this feature due to current world events. The little bit I was able to play though was a blast. As soon as the opportunity arises, I'm definitely looking forward to getting three friends together to play. Let's switch to something I had a little bit more exposure to, the audio. 
I'm not gonna lie, Bubble Bobble for Friends soundtrack is pretty great. Most of the level's music tracks are remixed versions of classic tunes, and good ones at that. While simplistic in nature, it's iconic to fans of the series. The sound effects are also essentially retro remixes, which again, fit very well with the theming. The uplifting music in combination with the colorful graphics mesh incredibly well. Another welcomed addition to Bubble Bobble for Friends is the bonus Arcade of Memories mode. This mode includes a full version of the original 1986 Bubble Bobble arcade game. This is really reminiscent of Taito's mobile release, Bubble Bobble Double, which also included the original arcade game. From what I can tell, it's a direct arcade port, which runs incredibly well. I really, really like how this mode takes place inside of an actual Bubble Bobble arcade cabinet within this child's bedroom. I wish I grew up with a Bubble Bobble arcade cabinet in my bedroom. Shit, I'd take one now. It's an incredibly nice touch that did not go unappreciated. Tato's latest creation is an example of a retro revival done right. Bubble Bobble for Friends surprised me with its tight gameplay, charming graphics, and elevating music. I honestly can't think of a better way to celebrate the franchise's 34-year legacy than releasing a game of this caliber. Overall, I really enjoyed my time spent with the famous Bubble Dragons. Here's to another 34 years, Bubble Bobble. Ugh.